Can you believe it? I can't. But season three starts right now. Good evening and welcome to the Racer League. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott, and this week, Racer League is starting Season 3. just want to welcome everybody back. During the off-season, we had some amazing news and an interesting race for our racing race here on the Racer League. They raced around Bristol and about 12 drivers trying to get themselves into the Racer League Season 3. Our winner, though, was the number 10 of Isabella followed by the number 52 of Eric Rector. Both of those cars have driven in the Racer League before and will be back in this season. Two drivers, however, found themselves in the Racer League Season 3, the number 40 of Paul Daniels and the number 78 of Jim West. We'll be joining the Racer League here on Season 3. Some other interesting and amazing news that we have for Racer League, we have had some local partnerships happen and sponsorships happen on some of our cars. The number 13 drives for Amaze Meats. The number 6 drives for Thorpe Automotive. The number 17 will now be driving for Happy Tails. Also, the number 92 will be driving for Elements Dental. The drivers haven't changed, just their sponsors for local sponsorships here where we're at. Also, some other changes are happening with Racer League with the point system. If a driver wins a race, they will receive not just an extra bonus point, but 500 bonus points for winning a race, and it will guarantee them a spot in the showdown. The point system otherwise still stays the same with the top 15 drivers making it into the showdown. If, however, a driver gets more than two or two wins or more, that driver will be automatically qualified for the championship race at the end of the season. Just a quick recap on what's going on here on the Racer League. But now, let's get ready and go racing. Let's go over qualifying results, shall we? Starting first today will be the number seven of Isaiah. In second, the aggressive Wombat driving of the number 47, John Jackson. In third, the number 57 of Scott Rector. The top rookie for the race starts fourth, and that is the number 40 of Paul Daniels. And rounding out the top five will be the number 84 of Kaylee Banks. Well, it sounds like the drivers have been called to their cars, so I'll go ahead and send it down to our in-booth commentators of Dwight and Sue to kick off Season 3. And I will see you after the race. Well, thanks, Nathaniel, for that welcome. My name is Sue Llewellyn, and I'm here with my counterpart, Mr. Dwight Flanders. Well, hi there, y'all. It's so exciting to be back here racing again. It sure is. I tell you, there's Sue. Those cars, they look so nice out there on the track. They look so stiffy. I just like them. They sure do look pretty sharp. That's for sure. That's the futuristic automotive racer type one. That's right there, y'all. It's a lot safer for the drivers this season. Uh, so we're hoping to have some some great racing. Kind of limits everybody as well. Sure. Center everything around. We've also got some great new cars, some new rookies out there again. There, Sue. Absolutely, two of them qualified on the racing race. Yeah, yes, they did. That Paul Daniels and Jim West. That's correct. <clears throat> that Paul Daniels is starting fourth today. There, Sue. That's so that's a great place to start there. It sure is. But. But that, uh, Eddie Phillips was our last season's champion there, so point out that Eddie Phillips starts all the way back in 29th place today. Oh, my. Our last season's champion starts way back there. That could be good or bad. 
We'll just have to wait and see. Well, we don't have to wait on that pace car's down, Dwight. And the green flag is out, and we're going racing. I see that Isaiah up there towards the front this week there, too. Absolutely. Struggled quite a bit there last season, but he's maybe leading he's them down. kicking off with a great start here to this season. That'd be nice. We've got that aggressive 47 to John Jackson on the outside. Oh, yeah, yes, but the, the 57 car's pushing him right now. It's a drag race down the back stretch there, Sue. Oh, heavens, there's going to be three wide racing. They show off for second right now, it looks like. Might be trying to three wide race for first. Oh, heavens. The seven trying to put the block on the 57. Just didn't work there. Just not enough track. There wasn't. That 57 is going to lead him down to the line. He's going to get that bonus point. It's a great thing to have there, Sue. He's got the 17 of Christy Rector right behind him. And that number one of Jay Shepler. Well, he was up there lurking, last season. Lurking back there in third. Had some great racing from Jay last season. Didn't get a win, but I think this might be his season. It might. He had that win stolen from him. That he did. But we're under caution, Dwight. We're only oh, on lap two. Fancy. Well, this track is known for that. I mean, last season we had so many cautions at this race. We sure did. Just everybody getting used to these 40 drivers again. Uh, new cars. New cars. So I'm sure Absolutely. there's just going to be a, a learning curve to this race for all the drivers. That 17 led them to the mm -hmm. line. Very strongly, I might say. Oh, heaven, Sue. There's a... That's that 32 of Eddie Phillips. That's last season's champion there. He's got a great new sponsor there. Kind of showcased that a little bit. Sure. He just got spun right around. Oh, that he did. What a shame. What a shame. Here's a nine See what happens. Nine oh, of nine. Denise. Just kind of got caught up there, Sue. That Smacked 90... Smacked that wall. Looked like that 91 car just kind of pushed her down there. Sure did. They probably just hooked up. <clears throat> couldn't separate. Couldn't separate. But everybody drives away. Well, that's nice. Here they come. Looks like everybody's going to be coming down pit road. Oh, hey. So you know what that means. For the first time this season, we're going to send it on down to Ernie and see what everybody's doing on pit road. Ernie? Well, guys, looks like we're going to have some adjustments from some of the drivers. Going to make sure they fill up on that gas. Some of the drivers are talking about taking only two tires this stop. Uh, but some drivers are also complaining that they need to make some adjustments to their cars. So I would imagine to see a few adjustments. Uh, none from the 17. As she comes down, she'll take two tires, fill up on that bow out of those propellant juice, and get back out to the track. Uh, trying to figure out. The 7 car I did hear on the radio, they needed to make a few adjustments. He was not happy with the way that car was setting out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send it back up to y'all. I'll see you soon, sir. Well, thanks, Ernie. Quite a race coming off pit oh, road yes. there. Well, that was nice. Sure that 57 was. car definitely got some adjustments as well on his car. Well, we'll get, let them get all lined back up. And for the first time this season, we'll be right back here on the Rectified Automotive Circuit Entertainment Racing. Racer League is brought to you by Element Dental. They make going to the dentist easy and affordable. Hey, you're watching the Racer League, and I'm Frank the Talking Wiener. Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? I'm here once again with my counterpart, Dwight Flanders. Well, hey there, y'all. That was quite an interesting wreck we had there at the beginning of the race, Sue. It sure was. We got a handful of drivers. So we got the 48 of Max of the Universe, the 13 of Nathan Rector, the 49 of Rod Ellison, the 91 of Aunt Christie, the 64 of uh, Katie Harshbarger, the 32 last season champion of Eddie Phillips. Oh, my. And looks like the number seven's out as well. That's not good. That's not good at all. He wasn't involved in the accident. He was not. He must have had some issues with his car. <clears throat> oh, that's just sad. It sure is. Sure is. But that number 84, Kaylee Banks, is going to lead us down to the line here. That car is looking pretty strong today there, Sue. It sure is. Looks like they're still sorting things out back there. I don't think they're wanting to try to get their positions up. <laughs> sure, it looks that way, doesn't it? Probably got some words for one another back there or something. 
I'm sure. Well, that pit road has a pace car running down at Dwight. Well, that it does there soon. And it looks like the green flag is out. And we're going racing. Well, they did not sort out those positions there, Sue. No, they did not. They are now already just running three wide racing back there in third place. They sure are. That 17 dove down. He's taking it away from the number six. Well, that's a good place to be there, Sue. Sure is. That's the 85 of Christopher Bailey. He's running in the seventh position right now. It's a good place to be at as well. He's trying to make his way up towards the front there, Sue. Definitely working his way that way. Just one car at a time. And here's that 78 of Jim West. Raced his way in in the racing race. Oh, yeah, yes. And now he's sitting in 10th. Well, that's where he started this day. So he hasn't moved too much, but a good top 10 from this rookie will be a great finish for this team. Absolutely. Absolutely. Looks like he's going to lose a spot to the 99 and the 19. Well, but that's all right. A lot of racing some left. Some. That's right. Quite a bit of racing left. It's the sixth there at Steven Nielsen. Got a great car this season and actually is a part of a new race team this season there, too. He sure is. He's heading up a team right now. He's teamed up with another rookie. Wow, which one's that, Sue? That'd be the number 20, a Dathan Case. Oh, wow. Well, hopefully this team does pretty well this season. That poor Steven Nielsen did have a rough couple seasons there. He sure did. Was unhappy with his team. If you're not familiar with the storyline of what's going on with him. Really upset with his team. Demanded a trade. Nobody picked him up. They he actually even not. lost his sponsorship there for a while. Oh, there's his teammate right there to the number 20 of Dathan Case. Sure is. He's running 25th right now. A little bit off the pace there, so I feel like, but maybe he's just trying to feel things out, thinking there sure. might be another big accident about to happen. Right, absolutely. He's definitely off the pace, just just a tad. Just a tad, not that much. Probably also getting used to these crazy speeds. I mean, they're running about 260 miles an hour in the corners. Yeah, just in the corners. By the end of the back stretch, they're hitting almost 290. Oh, heavens to Betsy, Sue. I don't know what I would do. Well, we know what you would do. We, no, we saw do. We last just can't, season. We just can't talk about it. Oh, heavens, with Jeremy Nelson there in the 21. Almost wrecked the 17 there of Christy Rector, who's driving for... Uh, one of our other sponsors this season. Absolutely. Happy Tales. It's Happy nice to have them on there. board. It's just a pretty looking card there, Sue. It sure is. Number 21, he made the showdown last oh, season. Yeah, yes. He almost had two wins last season. Almost. <clears throat> There's a former two-win racer there, so Season one, two-race winner, the number 57 of Scott Rector. Sure is. He's lapped down right now. He's in 33rd. Heavens to Betsy. Slowed up the leader. Oh my, we're under caution again. Oh, heavens. So we're racing back to the line, and here's a new camera angle, our selfie cam. Oh, that's a nice one there, Sue. I do like taking my selfies. Absolutely. Kaylee led us to the line. Let's see what happened. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Looks like the 45 and the 99 just kind of hooked up with each other, and Spun right around. Sure did. I think they're gonna. Oh heavens! Oh heavens to Betsy! There's parts flying and everything there, Sue. There sure was. Well, that's part of how the new car design is. Oh. They're designed to break away. Well, let's see here. And dissipate the energy. Definitely see a lot of pieces flying off the cars. Oh my gracious! They lost that whole front end. Both drivers did there to that Paul Daniels and the 22 Dallas Haycraft. They sure did. Well. Heavens to Betsy. They're coming back down pit road there, Ernie. You got it there, Ernie? Yep, I got you guys. Well, definitely some interesting racing. Uh, drivers have definitely got a good feel for their cars. Not that many changes are going to happen with a lot of these cars. Pretty happy with it, especially the leader of the 84, Kayla Banks. Going to make just a small adjustment of air pressure there on the outside tires. And that 47 is going to make a bigger adjustment as well. He says his car is feeling a little tight. Going to make a track bar adjustment, four tires, and fill up on vitalized propellant juice, and be back out onto the track. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Well, thanks, Ernie. We'll let them get things sorted out. 
Not as big of a race off pit road as last time. Oh, that there is. Well, there's not as many cars there, Slu. <laughs> this is very true. Very true. Well, we'll be right back here on the Racer League. Racer League is brought to you by Happy Tales Veterinary Clinic. Hot diggity. The Racer League is brought to you by the spider on your shoulder. Get it. Hurry. Ah! Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? Here with my counterpart, Dwight Flanders. Well, hey there, y'all. Another crazy accident there, Sue. But we did get to see just how safe these new cars are. Absolutely. How it's nice to see them break away and keep the drivers okay. We got reports that all the drivers are doing just fine. Well, that's good news. Or that it is. Because those were some <clears throat> hard hits. It was there, Sue. The 40 of Paul Daniels was involved, and he's out of the race now. The 45 of Skittle Waffles is out of the race. The 99 of Bree Miller's out of the race. That 52 of Eric Rector's out of the race. And the 22 of Dallas Haycraft is out of the race as well. Oh, my. Oh, yes. Another handful of drivers. That it is. It's kind of reminiscent of the race one of season two. That's what I was just about to say there, Sue. I mean, we had so many accidents, so many cars out of the race. I think last season we only had about 13 cars. That's that correct. still out on the track. That's correct. <clears throat> and definitely got an interesting thing here going on there, Sue. Showing the number 84 of Kaylee Banks is in the lead there, Sue. We've got That's a correct. handful of drivers right in front of her as that pace car is down. The green flag is out. And we're going racing. All those drivers in front of that 84 are a lap down fighting for their lap back. Or the 57 is definitely up that lap down. I don't think the other way are just yet. They're about to be, though. They are. They stayed out and didn't come down pit road. Trying to get their lap back. But a lot of these cars look a little damaged there, Sue. Especially that number nine there, Benito Rector. Well, they were all involved in that one caution. But it's going to slow were. our leader up. And that number one, a Jay Scheffler in 47. Oh, heavens. They're going to pin her up. Make Way up pass. there behind those black traffic drivers. Uh, number one, Jay Shepler is going to take the lead there, Sue. He sure is. He's definitely the most talked about and sought after rookie last season. And no more rookie this year. No more rookie this year. Oh, heavens, Sue, they're wrecking. Oh, my. Oh, heavens. Well, we're under caution again. Well, they got to race back to the line there, Sue. And yeah, it looks like the do. number one's going to hold on pretty tight there. I mean, he's got the 47 behind the 19, but we know how aggressive that 47 can be. Absolutely. He is a wombat out there, I'll tell you. That he is, but I don't think he's going to be able to catch that number one. I don't think so either. That number one car is way out there. It's going to hold on to it just nice. Interesting to see just kind of how this accident all started. Oh, there's that selfie camera here. Great right look at the car there when you see it like that. Absolutely. Well, that number one of Jay Chapler led us to the line again. Let's go back and take a look. See what happens. These lapped cars here, oh, that... 23 and 28 just kind of got into it, and then the 23 and the 83 just kind of kissed those in there. And it just bottled everybody up. Oh my gracious, Sue, he was up the track. And he was. Oh my goodness. Let's go take a look at that. That was Christopher Bailey. That it was. He's driving underneath the leaders there, trying to make his way up to the front, trying to pick a lane. Which way to go? Which way is he going to go? Thanks, he gets cleared, and then here comes oh, Brene Wrecker my. way up there. Oh, heavens, and he's rolling, and he's flipping, and he's banging, and he ain't moving. That that 83 got pushed down off the track. I think and he came right up into that 85 there, Christopher, Christopher Bailey. At those speeds, though, that's, <clears throat> that's hard to slow down that's and make hard. that turn. It is, and you saw that 85 really just kind of moving and trying to pick a lane. Sure. And he's like, oh, I've got it, and then, bam, side swapped right out of nowhere. What a shame. What a shame. What's not right out of nowhere is we're going to take a break. That's true. We'll be right back to the Rectified Automotive Circuit Entertainment Racing League. Subscribe to us. Subscribe to us today. Yeah. Subscribe to us. Subscribe to us today. Yeah. 
Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? I'm here with my counterpart, Dwight Flanders. Oh, hey there, y'all. How's it going? Quite another interesting wreck that we had there, Sue. It sure was. And another handful of drivers out of the race, as you can tell, oh on the track there already. We had the 33 of Laura... Uh, Laura Ellison, I'm sorry. There you go. The number four of Tommy Wright, the 37 of Eric Bellarby, the 83 of Renee Rector, who slammed into the side of the 85 of Christopher Bailey, who's out of the race also, the 21 there of Jeremy Nelson, and finally, the number 23 there, Sue, of Dylan Birchfield. Oh my. That is just a lot of drivers there, Sue, in and out of the race. It sure is. It's just sad to see it, but that is usually what happens. Beginning of the season, a lot of the drivers just getting it used is. to everybody again. And, sure. And that's just how it happens. And at these speeds. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yes. Everybody's wanting that first win. I mean, the wins are very important. 500 bonus points this season and another spot in the show, or a spot in the showdown. Oh, my. But that green flag is out, and we're going racing. At number one. Trying to get around the lapped car there. It's the 72, but oh, yes. just can't quite get there. I like to notice there, too. I like that scene there on that camera angle. The 72 says the champion on it there, Sue. It sure does. On the wings of the champion cars, that'd be the 72 and 32. They say the word champion on it. That way they can be distinguished among the other drivers. Oh, I like that. Well, there's the 55 of Tina Miller. She's running up in the fourth position there, Sue. She was another two-time winner last season. She was. Uh, last season, she got back into the racer league. She's raced in this league before, so she wasn't a rookie. But I see her back up there again there, Sue. In fact, she just took the lead away from that number one. Oh, heavens. He got pinned up in those lap traffic. Oh, yes. Got the 84 there of Kaylee Banks lurking just a little bit behind there. She's led just the race earlier. Yes, she did. The 47 of John Jackson is not too far behind himself. He's driving a new car as well. He is. Surplus Gear and Tactical is his sponsorship, or Sergeant for short. That's correct. He's been <clears throat> lurking back there all race so far. Oh, heavens. Hasn't quite taken the lead yet. He hasn't. I mean, he been pretty dominant there, but or up towards the front dominant, I mean. Sure. He just hasn't quite got those bonus points yet. Not though. yet. Sadly. 84 definitely looking to nudge her way back up there. She definitely wants a, her first win here, so she's not one yet in the race really good to win. That's correct. She's another she one of those not. drivers that's searching for her first win. Well, there's the 47's teammate, the 92, Kim Jackson. And that is one of our other partnerships that we have there, so the Element Stennel. Sure is. We're sponsoring the 92 this season. That's pretty nice there. Very nice car to see. Pretty sharp for sure. Behind that lap traffic there to the number nine of the Denise Rector, who was involved in that accident there. Towards the beginning of the race. Absolutely. That 92 just missed the showdown last season. And she did. It was sad. She was pretty dominant there towards the middle of the season and then just fell off there towards the end and wasn't able to make the showdown. Well, here's our leader again, that 55 of Tina Miller, but that 19. He's looking to get his lap back. Oh, like that and he there is. he takes it. And he's going to go to the inside, forcing that 55 to the outside. Let's see if she can get... Oh, she's not able to get underneath again there. Just through, down to that bottom line. And it looks like the 47 and her are going to be drag racing down the front stretch here to see who's going to go for the lead. Well, it went to the 55 that lap, but... I don't think she's going to hold it much longer there, Sue. She's not. There goes oh, that there 47. Goes. She's got to get down to the bottom there, or she's going to lose it to the 84 there of Kaylee Banks. She barely just made it. Oh, that she did there, Sue. But now we gotta see if that 47 can hold on. We'll just have to wait and see. And get his bonus points. 84 is looking to the inside there. But the 55 of Tina Miller, that 88 is a lap down and pushing the 84 up there towards the front. And they're gonna oh. be drag racing down the front stretch again. As we're under caution. Again. See what happened here. It's the, oh, 90, or the number two and the 43. Oh, Karen Ellison, they just kind of linked up there a little bit. So it looks like they almost couldn't. Oh, heavens. I almost looked like they couldn't break apart. Sure looked that way. Oh, oh my. That was. Oh, and he just rolls over. 
and back you again. see that? Let's go on board. Is that number 28 here? Oh, heavens. Was a close call. Oh, he's saying something. He's like, oh, heavens. Squeeze it! Oh, gracious, Sue. Heavens. Fancy. Well, they're going to be coming down the pits here, Sue. That they are. It's been a, been a while since they've been on pit road since <clears throat> lap 11. Oh, man, it so let's go down to Ernie and see what everybody's wanting to do. Ernie? Well, guys, I believe everybody's going to go ahead and take on four tires and try to fill up on volatilized propellant juice. we got about 10 laps or so before we hit that 10 to go caution, so everybody's trying to get what they can, try to make it to the end. So I imagine four tires, some may take two to try to get that better track position, uh, but fill up on that volatilized propellant juice and be back out onto the track. 47 is really liking his car. You have seen on the radio, it's pretty strong, so we'll just have to wait and see. Right, Sue, I'll send it back to you. Well, thanks, Ernie. You know what I noticed there, Dwight? What's that there, Sue? That number 55 did not pit. Oh, heavens to bet, see. Now, this is pretty interesting here, Sue. That it is. Because we've seen this trick before. We have. The number 99 is very fond of doing this trick to try to maintain track position and stay up there towards the front. Well, but that didn't play out. That did not. Well, it looks like the 55 might be coming down. Ernie, what's going on with that 55 down there? Well, guys, actually, this was a bold move from Tina. She actually decided that she wanted to wait the extra lap just to get the extra fuel. So we'll see if this strategy plays out. She's trying not to pit again. Guys, back to you. Well, that's an interesting move there, Stu. That it is. That it is. Well, with that, we'll let everybody get lined back up again, and we'll be right back to the Racer League. Racer League is brought to you by Grandma Sweet Tea. Mmm, -mm, it's delicious! I'm telling you, Sue, I just don't know. I just can't help it. For what? What have you been talking about? Tony, it hurts every time you squeeze it. Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? I'm here with my counterpart, Dwight Flanders. Well, hey there, y'all. How's it going? Win? Well, Sue, a smaller wreck this time. It was. Because we don't have as many cars out on the track. <laughs> That's correct. But that number two car is out of the race. As per Racer League uh, policy, if the car rolls over, you have to get yourself checked in to the in-care center and get sure. yourself checked out. So even though that two car did drive away, he had to drive himself into the pits and get himself checked out there. So that number two of Bryson Birchfield is out of the race. And right now we've got that number 47 of John Jackson leading the pack. We sure do. <clears throat> right behind him. You see that? That number 78. There's a rookie right behind that number 47. This is, never always plays out right. It's for usually, the rookie. It's usually the other way around. Well, it is, but it's never good for, you know, to see. Sure. <laughs> that. That 47 with the rookie is just never a good thing. He's pretty aggressive and is not afraid to put a car up into the wall. Well, we got a car down on pit road, and that's the pace car. <clears throat> and that green flag is out, and we're going racing. Well, that 95 is looking for a great place to go. He's going to try to go to the inside and miss, but that number eight of Mason Cease is going to go to the inside and try to make a move there towards the front. Boy, he's moving towards the front, that's right, for yeah, sure. Yes, that bottom line is working, even though some of those cars down there have been damaged. Oh, and they're bumping back there, Sue. That they are. Are they able to hold it? Nope. Oh, they're not. We're in the caution. Again. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Sue? It's been a caution-filled <laughs> race. It's been like this again. Race one of the season. Everybody just keeps bumping into each other. I'm telling you. That number 88's going to get a wrap back. Great shot of the self again. Everybody kind of bumped up as they were coming up between two days. Behind that rookie. They're just kind of bumping. Not giving him much room there, that 84 car. Gets him a little loose. He bumps in. Well, he just spins right around. Don't look like anybody was hurt. You know what we say to that? Welcome to the Racer League, rookie. Well, that's true. 
We just got word <clears throat> because of this caution, there's going to be no 10 to go caution. Oh, heavens. It's going to be pretty close to that moment there. It is. It'll be interesting to see what these chatter. drivers do. A lot of chatter on the radio. Say a lot of drivers staying out. Oh, buddy. We got the 17 leading a handful of drivers down. Third place back. Ernie, what's going on there? Let us know what's going on. Well, guys. Yep. Some of these drivers wanted to go ahead and make sure they were good to go on gas. So, we're going to come in, fill up on some glatalized papilla juice, make a small tire change, and be back out onto the track ready to go. Well, thanks, Ernie. We see that 17 coming in. Just a gas and go. And away she goes. Well, there it is. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see if these other drivers can stay out. Well, that it will. And make it all. Well, as they sort that part out, we'll go ahead and get ready to take just another break. We'll be right back to the rest wreck five automotive circuit entertainment right the league. Hey, I'm Frank, and don't forget to like and comment below and let us know what you think about the racer league. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the Racer League. My name is Sue. How do you do? I'm here again with my counterpart, Dwight Flanders. Well, hi there, y'all. Interesting racing so far going on here there, Sue. It sure is. You know what, Dwight? What's that there, Sue? We've had a caution. And no drivers out of the race. Well, that's nice. From that caution. <clears throat> that is nice. First time that's happened so far this race. That's true. That 47 is leading us down the back stretch here. As he did not come down pit road along with that 84, 95 and the 20. Hmm. And the number one. In fact, everybody from 8th up did, did not, not pit. pit. So that'll be interesting to see if everybody can make it the rest of the way. We've got about 15 laps to go there, Sue. So We'll just have to wait and see how this plays out. That pace car is getting ready to come down. As there's going to be no <clears> 10 to go because they would have to throw it next lap. In fact, they would. But the green flag is out and we're going racing. Well, that 47's got a great start there he getting around did. that 72. That's the, the best start we've seen all race. Yeah, best it restart. Is. Everybody else has been hung up. Who did get hung up? Was that 84? She got hung way up there oh, up top. Oh, that she did. That 47, boy, that's just going to allow him to just gain time just, on second place. Yeah, yes. At 95, he's looking on the inside back there. He's been well. trying to make some great moves there, Stu. So there's the There's some teammates right case. there. Teammates, actually. That's right. Three wide down there on the bottom. That they are. That 17 falling right behind that Thorpe automotive car. Hmm. That'll be interesting to say. That it will. They're going to hang the rookie out to dry a little bit. That they are. Just get out the way, man. We're going racing. And he's keeping pace. He fell back just a little bit, but that number six is sitting in fifth right now. Is looking to move forward underneath that 95. He's going to get it there, so. And again, with some help from that number 17 car. Well, I think that 17 is going to take that position away. Oh, heavens. I think that pit stop, they might have made a slight adjustment because that 17 has just been moving forward. That she has. Already up to fourth. <clears throat> oh, wow. From starting in ninth. Ninth place up to fourth. Those tires did help. Well, she didn't take tires. Oh, she didn't take tires. She just took gas, didn't she? Gas and an adjustment. Oh, heavens. There's a number one of Jay <clears throat> Shepler. He led earlier in the race. He's sitting back there in ninth place there, Sue. And he is fighting that lap traffic as with everybody. He's trying to. Everybody's trying to get around it and just kind of have to wait and see. That 95 got shuffled towards the back there, Sue. That he did. Seems like once you get off that bottom line. You just get shuffled back. Nowhere else for you to go. That's correct. <laughs> Unless you go into the wall, which we've seen that today as well. 
That is definitely a place you do not want to go. That is true there, too. That is true. Here's a 41. We haven't talked much about her <clears throat> this today. It's She's running in fifth right now. In fact, she is there, too, with another new sponsor there, with running for Bell Adelaide's Propellant Juice. That's a nice car that they've got made up for her there. And sure is. Interesting to see how well she does. Now, she is a winner here on the race for league. She won the uh, Laguna Seca race, season one. Mm -hmm. She won that road course oh, to win wow. there. Oh, look at that power move there by the 17. Well, that six car He's slowing off the everybody up. Ernie, what's going on with that number six? Whatever that is, that number six looks like he's got a flat tire. He's going to try to get himself down Big Road this time, but it'll be interesting to see as he's all the way up on the top. But that number six car is definitely struggling with the tire going down. Guys, back to you. Oh, my. Well, that's pretty dangerous there, Sue, because they are three wide racing, and it looks like he's not able to get down there into the pits. He's going to have to go around again. Oh, my. Oh, I know. Hopefully he can hang on to it. But that 17 was able to just swing around. Well, she's going to sit in third place right now. She's got about a second or so to get to get to that number 84 car. For second. For second place. And they've got to try to team up and try to tackle this 47 car. John Jackson. He's got a dominant lead. Well, right that now. he does. He's got almost a full second lead there on the 84. And this is a place that he knows how to win at there, Sue. It's a he race knows. he knows how to win, too. Well, that's what I'm saying. He, he really knows how to win here. He's got a great car. I think he might be one to watch out for here, Sue. Well, he's definitely mm. the one to beat right now. That he is. With a full second lead over second place, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And we'll be right back to the racer lead and the conclusion of this race. You're watching the Racer League, and I'm Frank. So, like, my dog used to chase a lot of people on a bike. So, <laughs> I had to take away his bike. <laughs> I'm telling you, so just touch it. It's a little bit. I'm not gonna touch it. Just touch it just a little bit. Welcome back to the Racer D. My name is Sue, and I don't know why, but I'm here with my counterpart, Dwight Flanders. Well, hey there, y'all. We're coming up on lap 50 here, there, Sue. So. Yeah, we are. Interesting racing going on. We've got that number 47 of John Jackson with a dominant lead right now of over two seconds. And his teammate, the 92 there, is running in fourth. That's a great place. And that 17 of Christy Rector is gaining and sitting in second right now. That, that 17 car passed the 84 there while we were in break. And she did. And she is on the move in that Happy Tails number 17 car. That's looking sharp out there. I do love those futuristic automotive racer type ones. They are just so nice looking. That they are. I like that wing. And that wing is very special. For sure. Well, there's the 84 of Kaylee Banks. She's sitting back there in third place there, Sue. Yeah, she is. Been pretty falling, strong today, but... Falling back into the clutches of that 92. Well, that she has. That 47 is just fast. That he is. He's out there in some clean air. Nobody else around to try to draft and get themselves up as the white flag is out. All he's got to do is just bring it on home. Got him to hit his marks here, Sue. See if he's going to be able to do it. I don't doubt him at all. He's won here before. He actually won this exact race here. By a save. That he did. And looks like he's <clears throat> going to do it again as he's got a two and a half second lead. Oh, heavens to Betsy, yes. That is just unreal. He's the dominant, very aggressive driver there, Sue. I expect nothing less, less from this Wombat driver right now. Absolutely. As he's getting ready to come down, he's going to take the, the checkered flag there, Sue, and the number 47 with his new sponsor is going to win the first race of the season and qualify himself for the showdown. Again. Again. Another win for John Jackson would cons uh, get him qualified for the championship again. So it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the season plays out for that number 4 to 17. Absolutely. 
Well, we'd like to thank you for joining us tonight here on the Racer League. Be sure to join us every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you next time. We'll send it on up now to Nathaniel Scott for our post-race show. That'll do, Sue. That'll do. Good evening and welcome to the Razor League post-race show. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott, and I tell you, we had an interesting race today, didn't we? Last season's champion, the number 32 of Eddie Phillips, finished dead last this week, wrecking with a, only having completed two laps. But a great way to start out the season is the number 47 of John Jackson, getting yet again winning the first race of the season and 500 bonus points for winning the race. In second was the number 17 of Christy Rector. In third, the number 92 of Kim Jackson. In fourth, the number 84 of Kaylee Banks. Rounding out the top five and our top rookie for the race was the number 20 of Dathan Case. Well, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media outlets. You can follow us on Facebook at The Racer League. Also, you can click that subscribe button down below. If you've been watching this long, why might as well. And ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the action. Racer League premieres every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. right here on YouTube. Well, this has been the Racer League post-race show. I am your host, Nathaniel Scott, and I will see you next time. Racer League is brought to you by Ben Sound. And our images are provided by Google. Make sure you subscribe to the Racer League channel and ring the notification bell. Yay, Racer League!